Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Clark's Farm. Please don't forget to like the video, drop any comments you have below, and subscribe to our channel. You get notifications of our video out every Monday now. Well, for the next couple of weeks anyway. Um, just we've a kids' birthdays coming up on Sundays, and a couple, busy couple of weeks stuff coming up. So Sunday videos is going to be shifted to Monday, just for a few weeks, um, and then we'll be back to normal again. But yeah, this week we are um, myself, Gavin's doing a bit of fencing, uh, Gary's doing a bit of walk in the shade, and also the Massey we took out for his first venture uh, into a thrashing day. So yeah, let's get at it. So, um, just down with the calves here, the freezing calves, we have another batch in here for mixed batch. We've been, got a few in every other week. Um, so yeah, so um, we just want to sort of elim eliminate the problem of pneumonia. Well, I don't know how to eliminate it, but I'll try and help it. So obviously with the vented tin up here, um, we talked about taking this wall away here, but then just the advice of all you guys, I said, wouldn't worry about that. It's ventilation, the thing. So the plan is now, is this tin down here. Um, if we, Take the, take the bottom timber out and sort of kick the tin out um, and sort of let the air come in and then it'll be able to get out the bottom door just right down there so uh, hopefully create a bit of airflow and carry out whatever sickness is in the air with it um, so guys we're starting to hit here now this is also another new addition we have try and stop any mice or rats we have um, yeah, it will have a task ahead of it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you're gonna walk away this here now, hanging out and start doing a bit of fencing. So what his plan is now is cut a block of timber and put it along the bottom of that timber there and just prise it against the wall, screws up through it and that'll hold it out. So a good job. Right so we have one side screwed on there, that's just going to sit like that, put the screws in the holder steady. I'll do one the far side there, apparently has the right part. There and uh, hopefully a little bit more flow through the shed. Keep the cows right. Yeah.
Kirk Gary here. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it all wedged up there. Plenty air getting through there now, so hopefully not leave us yet too cold, but plenty air coming through. Good job. So, uh, myself and Gavin are out the back here working on getting the fence finished in the back field here. Um, this is the field that we stitched the grass on and it done really well, I have to say, it's a good job. Good, nice thick floor of grass on it. Um, yeah, we the bobcat out here. We, um, probably the first time we actually used the bobcat for a job like this. Um, handy new field as well, handy power in it. I just don't know if it's as nimble as the wee loading shovels though. But maybe it's just not used to driving it, that's probably all this. Um, we just had to move this. Little bits of steels and gates and all that stuff here. Um, move it all back so we can carry our line through, take it on down and across over here. Yeah, let's put a gate down over here. So we can go out into the yard. And we're going to end up, we're actually change the plan, we're going to put a gate on the far corner as well. So we have to take the fence back a bit to put a gate on. Um, but, no big job really. Um, so yeah, so, he's just near enough red all back enough. So we're going to have to sort through this and see what's going to, what's going to scrap and what's going to be kept. That's a day's work on its own. Um, so we'll just, uh, I'll probably go and get the TM here now and hook the post driver on and we'll do the rest of the post driver here anyway. So we're just here um, trying to work out this is going to be obviously where the gate's going to be. Um, I originally thought maybe putting a 14 foot gate on there, but then if there's stuff in the road, it's going to leave it a tight swing. So I'm thinking maybe two 10 foot gates and leave it a 20 foot opening. Um, it's not worse than a tight gate uh, to get into. So we're just measuring out here now, trying to suss that out. Um, we'll get these posts lined out here then and bait in then. It'd be a good job. Not bad that's seen our split. Oh. oh well, it'll do alright.
Okay, this is gonna go kind of left this. Something fat again in here, it's laying on the outside of it. Tidy up. Seats broke on it here at the minute. Our seat. And a couple of bits and pieces of the steering wheel clamps not working right, so some jamming in here. So I doubt when I'll take a couple of days into getting it fixed up, tidied up. Um, just don't want to get too too far gone, you know what I mean? Go on, finish your story there.
think so. Hey, come back. That's all the posts in. Um, fairly straight line, not too bad. Uh, we got axle posts in the box off. Yeah, so we got axle posts in to do a box off around the strainers. Uh, it's not something I know much about, nor any of us really do. Looked up on YouTube a couple of different ways to do it. So today is the Massey's first outing. Um, uh, Lawson's um, over in Bourne there, they're having a vintage day, it's a thrashing day and stuff. Um, said we'd go over it uh, for charity, so it's good, a good day out. Should be, well, hopefully it should be a good day out. Um, good cause and all. So I said once the mass all cleaned up, I got her cleaned out inside there, roughly. Uh, I got the windows all cleaned up and our stuff there, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take her out. I'll fill it with easel here first and then take a venture on over, see what's happening. See what's about. Um, oh, well, did they do that next door? I got these wee rubber caps here just to cover for the cover head of Alex. Um, and that's, I have a new front grill there for um, this last one here. This one here is cracked, so I have a new grill there for it. I just haven't got it stuck on yet. Um, yeah, no, that's pretty much her. We'll get on our way here then. Off we go. So, fill up with diesel and all. Ready for action now. Just driving over the road here. And whenever I was painting this factor, there's a hole in the front of the jam, cap, just on the roof, where the exhaust I broke off down here. And fell against the roof and melted it on the roof.
So, change the plan again. Adrian is taking his lorry over as well. So, and he says 135 on the filler. So he wants me to put the tractor on the filler. Take his tractor. Just never know what the mess is going to be. Definitely a slight curve ball in the pants. Now to make the decision, do I want to drive his John Deere with the loader on? Or just take the lorry over. I think the lorry might be a handier option. Taking that thing out. We mask does look wild well though, all the same. It's actually our hedge cutter in there. Something you wouldn't have seen the channel. We, it, it's been laying here this oh, four or five years anyway. Um, yeah, we put it in storage here. Uh, Adrian stored it first for, and then we meant to take it out, and then she could bury it into that corner and stuff. But this shed here of his is getting concrete now in the next week or so. So um, we we'll have to pull it out. So we're going to pull it out and get it going. And the hedge is all, all the hedge, and he cut or badly badly need of it so it's a good excuse to get her out i want to get her fired up in the next few weeks get the hedge just cut um i'm trying to remember how to use her now Your bones and drive your young mind crazy But when you place your head between my collar and jaw I don't know much but there's no way at all And I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't 
Cause if I say I miss you, I know that you won't But I miss you in the morning when I see the sun Something in the orange tells me we're not done To you I'm just a man, to me you're all I am Where the hell am I supposed to go? Poison myself again Something in the orange tells me you're never coming Right guys, unfortunately that's all we have time for this week. Um, please don't forget to like the video, um, drop any comments you have below, and also subscribe to the channel to get notifications of our video out every Monday for the next few weeks. Um, then we'll be back to normal Sundays. Um, also check out the website for merch. And yeah, all the best now. Good luck.